Hi, I'm Cindy Manchester and welcome to Chinawith & Cohen Realtors Elite TV. Today we're at the new Math & Science Center at Jinx Public Schools visiting with Bonnie Rogers, Director of Communication, to learn more about this state-of-the-art facility in our community. So stay tuned and take a look at some of our area's finest homes. We are visiting with Bonnie Rogers, Director of Communication for Jinx Public Schools. Bonnie, thank you so much for inviting us out today. This is impressive. Well, it's our pleasure. We, um, we're proud of our building also. So. Well, I can see why. We're yes. in an 80,000 square foot, state-of-the-art facility. How was this building funded? Well, we have to give thanks to our, our taxpayers. We passed a bond issue in 2008 for $157 million. And so this facility was part of that bond issue that we promised our pa taxpayers that we would build a one-of-the-kind facility. Well, and, and it, I don't know how many times we can say one-of-a-kind. It truly is. Uh, you've been given kudos, uh, state-of-the-art for any school in the United States. We have classrooms for science and math and a planetarium. Tell us how that's, how all those facilities are going to work together. Well, we really are focusing on collaboration between our math and science teachers, as well as science with other science teachers and math teachers um, among themselves. And so we, the building is designed to increase that collaboration. Um, in the future, the near future, we want to open the planetarium up to the public, as well as having it be a learning tool during the day with our students. Well, we were, we were looking at some of the classrooms earlier and you were showing me how the classrooms actually open into each other. Yes, we have um, a few places where the math and science classrooms actually have doors that are open, that can be opened in between the classrooms just to encourage that collaboration and, and help students really understand how math and science are related. And we even have a, a garden. Yes. So, yes. and we earlier we were uh, we were seeing how they were building paper airplanes and, and doing some experiments on that. So. Yes, we have a calculus class was testing the trajectory and the velo velocity and the speed and and just looking at all different types of aspects that paper airplanes that they built and designed um, were holding up. Kind of makes us want to go back to school. It does a little bit. It does. Yeah. So. The facility uh, really has to be seen to be believed. Um, tell us the LEED yes. certification that this building has. That's, that's very unique. It is. Yeah, this building is LEED certified. Um, when you drive up, you'll see that there are permanent shutters and shades on the windows. Um, that's part of the LEED certification. We also have tanks, wells that are buried um, underneath the parking lot and those have 33 miles of tubing that help with the geothermal heating and cooling of the building. So um, in the winter that water is warmer and in the summer that water is cooler. So that's part of the green aspect of the building. The other big feature that you'll see when you, when you drive up is the wind turbines. Yes. And those are um, producing energy for our building. It doesn't produce all of the energy, but it really is a research tool for our students. They can go and find out how much energy is being produced and use that to solve problems or to make predictions and just research the building itself. Again, what a unique uh, facility and what a great learning experience for the students of Jinx Public Schools. Well, we're, we're awfully proud of it and um, look forward to just the things to come, the project-based learning ideas that we have in, in play. And we just think that there's great things ahead. As always, Jinx is on that cutting edge. Yes, we, we try to stay there all the time. Bonnie, thank you again so much. It's been a lot of fun. Thank you. If you're in Jinx, come out and check out this building. It is impressive, the Math and Science Center here at Jinx Public Schools. Stay tuned and take a look at some more beautiful homes.